lot of people that take early retirement have the retirement coverage from their former employer and they're like, hey, this is great. You know, I'm 62, 63. What they don't realize is when they turn 65, that coverage by its very terms becomes secondary to Medicare and you need to enroll in Medicare for your primary coverage. And, you know, very few, very few, I'm, I'm not aware of any in the last five years that I've looked at where that retiree coverage would be primary to Medicare. It used to be that it could be, but not anymore. And so what, you know, the rule of thumb here, once again, is whether you retire at 58, 60, 62, that's great. You have retiree coverage that's going to last you, you know, what you think your whole life, and it may well last your whole life. But at 65, when you become eligible for Medicare, you've got to enroll in Medicare Part A and Part B, and that retiree coverage becomes secondary. If you don't enroll in Part A and Part B, that retiree coverage still becomes secondary, and it doesn't have anything to coordinate with, so it basically has no coverage at all.